welcome back to B Gray, right? So usually we are riding with B Gray, but this morning we're gonna get ready with B Cray because currently I'm TDY. And for those of y'all who don't know what TDY is, TDY is I am currently um temporary duty, temporary duty out in the state of Washington, right? Old stomping grounds, JBLM, old stomping grounds. But let's go ahead and get started. It's because I just finished breakfast. So we're gonna go ahead and get started talking about my trip here. So my trip here originally for to have put me here Sunday at or around two o'clock. So let me walk you through it and then I'll tell you everything about what happened as I get dressed for work this morning. Because I have to be at work this morning at 8.30. All right, so flight supposed to head left uh, what's the name of that place? Oh, flights where they had left Hawaii Airport at seven o'clock in the morning. All right, I keep moving my camera because I don't find it. I haven't found a real good spot that I like that I like yet. All right, flights where they had left Hawaii at seven o'clock in the morning. Right, so I was like, bet we leave early. We get there early. We leave early. We get we get here early, and then we'll go ahead and um, you know, get ourselves prepared, do some dinner. You guys are prepared now. It's me and it's three other soldiers all coming down here for class, you know? So we check in, we get out, you know, we check our bags in, the whole nine yards. And keep in mind, this is Alaska Airlines. I'm not an Alaska Airlines fanboy, but that's what the military put me on, so that's that. So we get there, you know, first things first, as soon as I get to the gate, I do not have a seat on my ticket, right? Cause you say, you know, it says seat, it says not double. So I go up to the counter and be like, hey, I don't got no seat. <clears throat> they was like, oh yeah, we know, we'll give you one when it's time to board. I was like, that's weird. But anyway, because when I paid for my ticket, it came, I picked a seat. I picked a window seat in the back of the, in the, back of the plane, but neither here nor there. So I see my I see my three soldiers. They walk up. All of them have seats. I'm like, bruh, that's kind of it's kind of messed up, bruh. But anyway, fast forward. They give me a seat. You know, I, we board the plane. And I'm like, you know what? I'm tired. I'm just want to go to sleep. It's a five hour flight. Get a good five hours of sleep because I didn't get much sleep the night before because I was packing and getting everything ready, getting the house set up and everything to go. So I said I can sleep on the airplane. So I'm on it. So you know, the plane started to taxi. You know, they did do their little. You know, this is like best, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I said, I'm just going to go ahead and go to sleep. So I, I, I went off and I went to sleep. Something said, hey, bruh, wake up. So I wake up out my sleep. So as I wake up out my sleep, I heard, this is your pilot speaking. Um, we have a matter functioning light on for our landing gear. So we're going to turn around and go back to Hawaii. I was like, what? Like, bro, I think we was flying for like maybe an hour. Maybe an hour we was flying. So he turned back. So we're heading back. You know, I can see Hawaii, whatever. And then the next thing he said, like, this is your pilot speaking again. Um, when we land, you may see some fire trucks following us. Don't worry. It's normal. It's with the, when the landing gear is out like that. We uh, just in case a fire break loose. We have the fire department down. I was like, bro, fire. Like, what the world, you know? So we land, really rough landing, really, really, really rough landing, right? So the fire department, they come up around the truck. I mean, they come up around the plane. They look in. Next thing you hear again, this is your pilot speaking. Uh, the fire department is going to do a good search, and then they're going to tow us back to the gate. I was like, okay, bet. But he like, it wasn't really the landing legs that had issue. Is that we had a flat. <clears throat> So I'm like, okay, back. So we sitting there, I'm like, that is taking a long time. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just watch football because my 49ers are playing. So I pull up my, I pull up my T, I pull up, I pull out my phone, I pull up my YouTube TV, YouTube TV. Hey, hey, I'm your boy for endorsement. I am your boy. But anyway, 
um, I'm start watching my football as they demolish the freaking Steelers, man. They demolish the Steelers. So I'm sitting there happy, happy as all the way. I'm like, man, my 49ers playing. They winning. Right, this is this day can't get any better, you know? So then like an hour later, it was like, hey, this is your pal that's speaking again. They finished the investigation. They finished their little inspection. So now we're waiting for the tow. The tow is to the gate. And then you'll find out, you know, what's going on, what's going to happen with your flight after that. I was like, okay, bet. <clears throat> but keep in mind at the same time, Alaska Airlines keep pushing uh, like text messages saying, hey, your flight is going to leave at 10 o'clock. Then it's going to leave at 11 o'clock. Then it's going to leave at 12 o'clock. I'm like, where, where are they getting this information from? This plane is not, this plane, I, I promise you, is not going back out. <clears throat> so I'm like, okay, bet. Don't worry about it. So then, like, I think like 45 minutes later, because I think the 49ers game was almost over, he got there again and be like, hey, it's your palace again. I'm like, oh, what world, man? He like, they decided they're not going to pull us to the gate, but they're going to move us to the actual garage where they're going to work on the plane because <clears throat> we don't want to damage the plane any more than what it is. So I'm like, right, just at this point, just get me off the plane, you know what I'm saying? I've been sitting here, we were sitting there for like two hours on this tarmac, you know what I'm saying? So, he like, we'll just wait for the tug. The tug took an additional 30 to 40 minutes to get there. So now I'm like, I'm just like frustrated, like, bruh, I just, get me off this plane, you know what I'm saying? Just get me off this plane. And then he came back again, like, hey, this is our first time ever dealing with this, <clears throat> especially unboarding people over here by the garage area, so... We're trying to make sure everything right and no one gets hurt. Once again, my mind like, bro, just get me off this plane, you know? So they got the air stairs out. They got the buses. They loaded us up on the buses and they took us back over there to where um, baggage claim is. And they like, there will be a representative there who could um, who could help y'all with y'all next flight and whatnot as you get your bags. I'm like, okay, bet. But my mind's like, why are you giving me my bags when you still got to fly me? To watch to Seattle, you see what I'm saying? You said I fly me there. Why are you giving me my bags? Neither here nor there. So <clears throat> we get our bags, and I'm like, no, I tell my soldiers, let's just go upstairs and get out and get our flight rebooked because they said it's gonna take at least 30 minutes to an hour to get our bags from the plane to um to like bag plane. So I'm like, okay, back. Uh we sit there. And we're trying to find, we're trying to find the lady. Like, we found one lady. We were like, hey, Alaska Airline lady, what are you going to do about our flight? Blah, 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 blah. But before that even happened, we immediately get a text message from American Airlines saying, like, hey, we rebooked your flight. So, I'm like, bet, no problem. So, it's four of us. So, three out of the four of us got flights at, at that, our flight, they say you're, they rebooked us on the flight that leaves at 8 o'clock putting us in Seattle at like 05, 30, 05 in the morning. And I'm like, that's not going to work because class starts at like at, at 8 or 9, you know what I'm saying? So like, bro, it's not going to work. Let me call American Airlines. I mean, let me call uh, Alaska Airlines. The other soldier we got, his flight was at 2 o'clock p.m., putting him in um, putting him in Seattle at 11 o'clock at night. Once again, I'm like, that's 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 kind of messed up, but it's a more plausible uh, flight for us. So we don't we get on the phone with uh, Alaska Airlines. We like, hey Alaska, this is what's going on. You put us on this flight. We need to be on this flight. They like, uh, that two o'clock flight is full, so you have to stay with the flight you're on. And I mean, like, I could have called Sato, but like, bro, calling Sato is like, it's like sitting on the phone for like hours, and I did not feel like it because I was already. I was already hot, I was already bothered, and I was already frustrated. But I couldn't show it because I had my soldiers with me, you know? So, so we're like, freak it, we'll just take the 8 o'clock flight. Then, to add insult to injury, Alaska is going to send me a freaking food voucher for $12. What am I going to buy in a Hawaii airport for $12? freaking dollars i can't even get a like the water is like five dollars by itself you know what i'm saying so I'm like bro you could have took this and shoveled it up yo you know what you know what i'm saying alaska you suck you suck terrible so then they then they send another 350 uh off your next flight 
Bruh, I wouldn't fly y'all again if y'all was the last airline on earth. Between you, Spirit, and uh, Frontier, I would never fly any of the three of y'all again, but the military forces me to ride y'all. So, you know, we stay at the airport the, remote, the majority of the day. But, okay, the problem was we said let's just go ahead and check our bags because we can't go back upstairs without a boarding pass or whatever. So when you try to log in on the um, the machine, to keep in mind it's only like 10, 10 a.m. in the morning now. They like you can't you can't check your bag in this early because you got you can only check your bag in four hours before your flight. So I'm like man, this is kind of some screwed up stuff. So I I said let's just wait in line and we'll talk to the lady. But the line is so crowded because there's so many people trying to get rebooks and whatnot. And the third, there's flights that's supposed to go out and they're not going out. So it's a big mess going on right now. So this is where my patience had to, this is where my frustration had to turn into patience. Because there was some rude, there was some Karens in that line. Oh my God, there was some Karens in that line. They was getting snappy with the coworkers. And I'm like, bro, these workers are just here just like, they they're trying to do the same thing which like they're trying to help us out the best way they know how but they have other flights that they got to push out before they before they work on the flight they got turned back around you know what i'm saying so i was literally i was talking to the lady and she was like let me finish my my i think it was a san diego turn and another flight right so i'm like okay cool so i see my soldier with the 1400 flight in the back of the line i'm like bro what you in the back of the line he was like hey i can't print my 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 ticket off for my um my bag so i said well come to the front of the line and i'll take care of you so i went to the lady i was like hey lady or or man whatever you want to call it like, i was like um this dude has a two o'clock flight it's like it's like now it's like 11 o'clock but we can't print it we can't print his ticket she was like okay i got you don't worry about it. how i'm gonna come up here i got you so i was like boom hey being sweet gets you what you need so after we got him out the way who was good to go she was like hey how can i help you I was like, me and my other three soldiers, we're, we're kind of, we're gonna be at the airport the rest of the day because we're not going home. But can we check our bags? You know, they like, I like the machine said we can't check it because it's four hours, it's four hours, it's four hours too early. She was like, I got you. So she did that, she gave us our bags and, and upstairs we went, you know what I'm saying? So we spent the whole day at the airport, you know, we watched football, it's that third. All right, fast forward, booked the flight. We finally got out of there, we flew to, Flew to Seattle, so hey, it's time to go pick up my run my rental car, right? So keep in mind, it is like five o'clock in the morning. So I during there been in and out of in and up in and out of sleep for like the past twenty four hours, right? So I get to the counter and it's so I, I pick my car through budget, but you know how at the airport they shut down most of the car rental places and they have like one of them open. I keep looking at the clock because I need to make sure that I can get I can finish I can finish the address. Um. <clears throat> so we had to go to Avis. So I get there, I get in line. It's one, it was one lady working. She worked with a customer. Then another lady comes out. She was a white lady. She comes out, and you know she messes around, messes around. And she's like, "Okay, can I help you?" So I said, "Yes, I had a reservation. Uh, I need to pick up my rental car." So she's like, "All right, uh, let me get your ID and your credit card." So I gave her my ID and my credit card, and she just throws it on the counter like, like she don't want to be there. So I'm like, you know what? Patience is a virtue because. I'm about to cuss her out because, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't have time for this. I'm, I'm already upset. I, I, I already been flying all day, and I don't need your attitude, lady. So, plus I had my soldier standing beside me, so I couldn't act out, you know. So then she was like, um, "What was your reservation?" I said, "It's under Franklin McCray," you know what I'm saying? And she was like, "She was like, yeah, you got a confirmation number." And I was like, yes, ma'am, I do have a confirmation number. You know, still being nice, you know, still being, I give him my confirmation number. Oh, your, your reservation was yesterday. I said, I said, I know that, ma'am. I called up here, you know, so I, I know. I'm telling you right now, Daryl was about to cuss this lady draws clean off her face. I was about to cuss her out so bad, her hair would have fell out. Cause I'm like, I'm already fresh. It's five in the morning, lady. And I still gotta go to DuPont and then I still gotta come back to Lakewood. So I'm like, lady, you're pissing me off. Just give me my freaking car so I can go. You know what I'm saying? And then I guess her computer wasn't working, so she used the other lady's computer. And I think she was like, I'm gonna use the computer because mine isn't working. You know, I, I can't log in and all that stuff. Lady was like, okay. So she logged in, she's like, okay, here's your car, whatever, floor, whatever, whatever. She gave me her freaking Kia. I don't mind having a Kia 
a Kia, like a mini SUV, like the hamster truck, you know, I'll show you pictures of it. So frustrated, just so frustrated. So, fast forward, we drive up here, I drop the soldier off at DuPont, and then me and my other soldier, we stay up here at Lake at Lakewood, I call it Lake in the Hood. But anyway, we get here, we walk in the door, the lady is like, hey, I hope you don't got reservations, because I haven't seen the cleaning crew all day. Later, I had reservations yesterday. Hopefully, my room was ready yesterday because right now, I just want my room. All right, y'all have a seat. And just, you know, have a seat until I finish this lady up, up here. Bet I will have me a seat while you work on that lady up there. So, she, so the lady, so she finished the other lady, and then she didn't call us back up. So I'm like, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. So I immediately go up to the counter and I'm like, hey, I had reservations. And she was like, okay. And she gave us our rooms and everything. But I was like, bruh, why? <laughs> like, bruh. I don't, I don't have good luck always at the airport, but God knows, man. I mean, it was just terrible. Yesterday was just terrible, man. I was tired all day yesterday. So today I got a good night. Well, last night I got a good night's sleep last night. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit energetic. I'm feeling good for class today. So we'll see what happened in class today. You know, I called a couple of my friends up here. Let them know I'm in town. Hopefully I can link it with them this weekend because this week is not gonna work because who baby it is it is terrible. <laughs> it has been terrible. Like, but I know. I know it's only gonna get better. It's gonna get better because I know um I know that's the way things are gonna go. So it's gonna only gonna get better. But anyway, I just want to sit down and give y'all that story time. I will give y'all a tour of the room probably, probably uh, the next video. I just don't feel like doing it right now. Like I'm still gotta get, still getting dressed for work. Gotta do my hair, you know. Gotta make sure I look decent just to go sit in a security all day. Just <laughs> to go sit in a room with no windows all day and do PowerPoint. But anyway, um, thanks for watching, people. Uh, thanks for getting ready with me. Uh, I will see y'all on the next video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And what would be a good word for the day? Um, patience. There we go. Patience. Patience is everything. Continue to be patient. Sometimes patience will get you what you want and more. And then, then you got to know when to let loose and just cuss the trolls off somebody. But. I'm not gonna hold y'all up. Hey, I appreciate and love every last one of y'all. Please be safe out in these streets. I am in JBLM. I'm in Washington. If you out here in these streets, you wanna hit up with me, you wanna get up with me, chill, whatever, please hit me up in the comments. Until then, do not fly Alaska Airlines. They suck. They rate on the same line as Spirit and, and any other cheap airline you wanna do. But I will keep y'all posted on the ride back. I'll probably vlog on the way back. That being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out of here.